Well, folks, it's that time of year. Uh, as you can see, there's a crap load of rain coming. Uh, this is at midnight, so it doesn't affect my going out or anything. But when I zoom out, you can see just how close that snow is getting to us. <laughs> it's just a matter of time before it gets here. So, currently 5 degrees out there. But when I look at uh, the forecast for tomorrow, it's supposed to be 13 in the afternoon, so sounds like it's going to be a good day. But when I look at the long-term forecast, um, there it is. As that's snow icon. So, and that is starting October 29th. October 31st last year is when we got our first snow, so it's getting close. And it's about that time, so you can expect it. Pretty soon, I think. So the next day when I went out, uh, at noon it was only 11. And, well, that's not our, our hottest part of the day yet, so it's still got a chance to warm up to the 13 that was forecasted. But it's overcast, so I don't expect it to be feeling all that warm with no sunshine. I'm going to go out and enjoy it anyways. Monster's still in hyper mode. I'm hoping that continues again today. And I'm going to go for another nice little tour and hope that when I stop to take a break uh, <laughs> I don't get a repeat of the last trip that I had. However, Zach is parked a little too close to the doorway so before I can do that I have to somehow try to figure out a way past his car.
monster's still nice and fast, so it's definitely still in hyper mode. Coming up the hill at full speed is just really nice. So I'm about to go downhill again, and because the sun's not shining and the sky's overcast, you can actually see the speedometer. And I'll turn my head to the side so that the camera can see. You'll actually see 31 kilometers per hour once again. And this actually impresses me more than the last time because this hill isn't nearly as steep as that other hill was. So, it's pretty cool. So far, so good. left cranking just back and forth i know that you see something to be used but i am so much more it's time that i could lose but you don't know me i am not a serial number and no my past is not pristine but i'm questioning is there more than what you say if you take it all away Decided to do another high speed trip down the trail. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going the opposite direction and I'm not as good this way because it's hard for me to remember where the chipmunk holes are and the tree roots that are sticking out, so I can't go quite as fast. I think those are really rough when I hit them. <laughs> and there's one spot that I actually have to slow down for uh, either direction I go. Uh, 
after that, I hit full speed again. to these bins. Yeah, at this point I'm looking... I'm... Excuse my language, I'm really starting to get pissed off now. <clears throat> so, they're just... I don't know what the heck they're doing. But the problem is, they, they keep moving these things around with all the rain that we've, we've uh, been getting. You know, the tire tracks... They're just making one heck of a muddy mess here. A muddy mess. <laughs> a muddy mess here. I just kind of killed my attitude there, didn't I? So I'm, I'm really getting to the point where, you know, I kind of want to say something. And I'm going to talk about this in a future video. I did find out a few things. And there's a little bit of confusion with the town about this as well. So I'm going to bring that up, but it'll be in a different video. But it's just, you know, so much for the monster being clean. I come through here, there's just mud splattering all over the place. All from these friggin' tire tracks that are just churning up the ground, the soft ground. And it's all mud now. And they're making it so almost impossible for people to get through here normally. So, I'm just, I'm not impressed. Maybe the situation's upsetting me more than it should. I don't know, it's just... It's a public trail. You know, and they're restricting access to it, and I don't think that's right. I, at this point, I don't know. I'm assuming it's town property. According to Google Maps, it's a named road. So, I don't know. But anyway, the farther I drive along here, the more I'm upset I'm getting about it. But unfortunately... Uh, my thoughts are about to shift to something a little more important. As I'm starting to head uphill, 
all of a sudden the monster just starts slowing down and then almost comes to a stop and I let off on the throttle let it sit for a second and try it again as I continue on I'm not gonna go through a full throttle just try to be easy on the motor and see if I can make it up the hill I'm in such a bad place here because <laughs> if I have to push it it's uphill both directions so I'm gonna see what I can do so the problem here is I'm right beside Westcast and if you live near a place that does castings you know the smell that comes from that place I can smell it uh, it can be a pretty rude smell sometimes <laughs> but the problem is it smells like the motor is burning and that's the same smell that comes from Westcast so you see me looking down to see if there's any smoke coming out of the motor and I just I can't tell if it if if it's there if the smells coming from the motor I don't know it could be the motor it could be coming from Westcast but at this point I'm thinking maybe my motor just failed and it's shorting so all this time that I've been driving knowing that there's a problem with the motor that it needs attention and just the fact that the monster's in hyper mode right now I'm just out enjoying it but like I say in my mind I know there's an issue so if the motor failed right now I blame myself for it because um, just out of neglect basically I know it's an issue I know it needs to be fixed I just put it off so if anything's happened it'll be my own fault but my main concern right now is just getting it home Last time this happened, when I was out on the highway, I stopped a few times, and each time I, I resumed, and monster would speed up a little bit more, so I decided to try that, because I'm on level ground now, and it's just not going very fast, and, well, and stop and go had no effect, and from this point till I get home, it doesn't speed up again, it stays slow, so I kind of took all the, the flat roads home, and I didn't... I avoided any hill that I could possibly avoid, and, well.
I got back home, I had to deal with X car again. A little more difficult backing in this time. A little bit worried about that incline and you know, <laughs> the monster struggled up it, but it, it made it okay. So when I went out, I had to get off and drag the back of the monster over. And I'm going to attempt to do that again, backing in, but it's easier to lift it and pull it towards me than it is to lift it and push it. Because I'm actually pushing, by trying to push it forward, I'm actually pushing down on the left tire and it's just not working. So meanwhile, while I was working on this, a uh, neighbor came home, so I went over to talk to him for a bit. And one thing I've noticed in the last couple days, while the monster's been in hyper mode, I have not been getting error code 7. So I'm not sure if it's related or not, but it's just, it hasn't been happening. And I did notice that, but when I went over to talk to him, I left the monster on, and while it's sitting here by itself, it just decides it wants to go into error mode 7. <laughs> so apparently it's still happening, just, you know, not while I'm driving. So, while I was talking to the neighbor, Zach headed out, so... By the time I was ready to put the monster back in the garage, then it was no problem. Then, once I got in the garage, um, I am, where I'm living is uphill, uphill. Upwind from West Cast. Uh, it's very rare for me to smell it from where I'm living. So, for the most part, I don't. And when I got the monster in the garage, I could smell that smell again. So I'm pretty sure it's coming from the motor. And I'm kind of concerned now that I think the motor might have finally quit on me. So, even update in the next video, or soon anyways, probably the next video. I uh, figured out that the motor isn't the only issue. I've actually found a few things now. So, I will keep you updated. I don't want to give any spoilers. So, that's all I got for this one. Thanks for watching.